If you guys would like to pick up any of the figures you see in today's video, go over to ringsidecollectibles.com and use the promo code MDTOYS to save yourselves 10%. Is that supposed to be Becky Lynch? Who the hell is that? What is good everybody? Welcome to an Epic My Damn Toys video. Today, ladies and gentlemen, we have a two-in-one WWE Ultimate Edition review for you guys featuring the brand new WWE Ultimate Edition John Cena and Becky Lynch figures. Now, both of these look absolutely fantastic, somewhat, and we're going to get into all of the details. I do want to give a huge apology for yesterday and not uploading, guys. I was feeling terrible. I don't know what it was. Just didn't feel good. I, I could not. I couldn't get myself together. I wasn't feeling well. I could not review Monday Night Raw. It was just, I don't know, man. I was just feeling god-awful. I don't think we're thinking like pandemic level, but I was just, you know, I was just bleh. But anyways, we're back here again today, and we're back with a bang as we have the Ultimate Edition John Cena and Becky Lynch as they came in yesterday, and I was super excited to get the review up. So here we are, guys. As you can see with the front viewing window, you have Becky Lynch, the man slash the mom. You got the goat John Cena, which is kind of crazy. This is my all-time favorite wrestler in John Cena. And then we have my favorite current women's wrestler outside of her taking her leave of absence at the moment. I'd say probably Asuka's right there, but it was Becky Lynch until she had to take her leave of absence. So as you guys can see, front viewing window here on the side of the packaging, you get a beautiful image of both men here. On the back, you get some product images. We've seen both of these for a while now, and then you have a moment from WrestleMania 35, and then you have Royal Rumble 2008, where he returned and won the Royal Rumble. Spinning into the other side, you have their names on the side of the packaging, and it's pretty much your standard Ultimate Edition packaging. They've kept the Ultimate Edition the same ever since the beginning with Ronda Rousey and Ultimate Warrior, and that pretty much does it for the packaging, guys. So let's go ahead and crack these hoes out of their packaging. So here is Becky, two belts, and the goat out of their packaging, guys. Looking pretty solid. You know, there are some things that I want to address, and we're going to get to all of the different details of both figures. You know, both of these I was really excited for. I think when some certain images leaked, I think my excitement kind of lessened a little bit. I'll say that, you know, I wasn't as hyped for it as I was initially when I first saw these guys at Toy Fair. You know, I thought some things would change about it. That's yet to be seen. We'll have to dive in here and see exactly what we're getting ourselves into. Is this worth the purchase? I know there's a lot of questions coming in about this Becky Lynch and about this John Cena and we're going to address all those issues, all those questions and find out together if these guys are worth the price point if you see them at Target, are they worth the pickup should you go order them on Ringside Collectibles using promo code MDTOYS we're going to find the hell out guys, so with that being said you guys know how we already work, what we're going to do first is run through Becky Lynch's accessories and then Becky Lynch and then we're going to run it back and take a closer look at John Cena's accessories and then the GOAT himself alright guys, so for Becky Lynch's accessories this is very important, we're going to showcase all that. Let's go ahead and start off with the obvious. She is Becky Two Belts, right? What would Becky Two Belts be without her two belts? We got the SmackDown Women's Championship and the Raw Women's Championship. Both belts look great. I don't think they downsized these things. I think this is the exact same mold we've seen over and over again. Even though I think the women's titles are slightly smaller than the men's, I could be wrong about that. They may have switched that up, but uh, this is the SmackDown Championship and the Raw Women's Championship, so that is pretty cool to see both of these. We've gotten those before, so no biggie here, but it is nice to have two extra of those in the collection. So next up, guys, we have, you know, the big deal. We got the things that make Ultimate Editions Ultimate Editions, right? So out of the packaging, she comes with this specific head sculpt, and you can switch this out with this head sculpt. And for me, guys, we'll get into this more as we take a closer look at the Becky Lynch head sculpt when we get into the details. But I don't know about you, but ladies and gentlemen, that looks nothing like Becky Lynch to me. That does not look like Becky Lynch to me whatsoever. And I think this is one of the bigger woes of the head sculpt. I just do not see Becky Lynch in this. I'll pull up an actress that I think it does look like, because there's a certain actress that I think she looks like, or at least this figure, the space scan looks like, and you guys can let me know down in the comment section below if you guys agree with me or what. But you have the hair down version and you have the pre-match version, I think, or was this during the match? Maybe her hair fell when the match was over? I can't remember. I can't remember the exact specifics. I think this one on the right looks more like Becky Lynch, but both of them just do not look like Becky Lynch to me. I, I don't know how to say it, but you guys can 
and let me know what you think below. We are going to get into some elite figure comparisons, and when we get into that, we'll see more of what I'm talking about on the likeness to Becky Lynch on this head sculpt, but you do get two interchangeable head sculpts. You just pop them off like that, and then being an Ultimate Edition figure, you can pop the arms out at the shoulder here, and she comes with double-jointed jacket arms, so what you would do is you can pop the left jacket arm in here, then go over to the other side, pop that out, and then you would pop the right jacket arm on over here, and then you would put on the vest, which would make her leather jacket. This is her Kill Bill attire, which is really sick. I love the Kill Bill attire. I think it looks really badassery, so there you go. You'd slide this arm through here, and the vest is obviously rubber, so it is easier to go on, and she's double-jointed arms, so it shouldn't be that difficult to get on the figure, and there you go. So there is the other version. I really like both. I think it's seamless. It looks really good. That's your jacket version. If you guys want to put the head sculpt on here and see what this looks like, I think this looks pretty damn good. I'm pretty impressed with that. So it's not like the Elite 72 with a cloth jacket. You do get the plastic jacket, but it does work. It's got the good double-jointed articulation on there. She can punch herself in the face. It looks good, feels good, and everything like that. But for her accessories, that's pretty much it. You get two championships, two interchangeable head sculpts, and the interchangeable leather jacket, which is pretty cool. And I just noticed she just has the fisted hands, and then she has the mic-holding hands, which is always good to have on your figures. But now that we've taken a closer look at Becky Lynch's accessories, guys, let's dive into Becky Lynch herself. So getting into Becky Lynch herself, guys, you guys will take a look at this head sculpt, and we've already discussed it a little bit, but I am just not getting Becky Lynch out of this head sculpt. I will say, again, this head sculpt looks much better than her other one, but I'm still just not seeing Becky Lynch in it. Am, am I tripping or, or am I tripping? I think it's like the eye shape or something that I'm just not feeling. I feel like her eyes are much bigger than that or something like that. And if you want to compare the other one to Becky Lynch, again, I'm just not seeing Becky Lynch here, man. I'm just not seeing it. And you guys can tell me what you think down in the comment section below. I'm not sure where it got lost, but I think this is one of those head scans that just kind of got away. I don't know if they were trying too hard or something. I, I'm not sure, but I'm not feeling this Becky Lynch head sculpt. But as far as the rest of the figure is concerned, let's get into the rest here. Going down, you do have her all black bodysuit going on right here. You got the Kill Bill attire with the stripes. Love the stripe color. I think it looks good. You got all this stitching detail on the arms. You have the same like diaphragm style torso that we got out of the Ronda Rousey, which is really nice. Arms feel tight. Arms feel good. You have the double jointed arms, which are just fan freaking tastic. She can punch herself in the face. She can Pete Dunn on them. She can do all the good stuff that you need her to do. She can Becky two belts all freaking day. As we spin it around, you got uh, some stitching on the back here. No paint in there. I'm not sure if that's supposed to be skin tone or if that's supposed to just be all black. I'm sure it is. Going down into the pants, she does have the yellow stripes on the side. More sculpt going on on the side here. You have her pantyhose or her, her, her netting right here that I think all women superstars wear nowadays. You got her black and yellow knee pads, which look really good. Lower black knees. She does have double jointed knees, which are really nice. And this is one gripe I have. I don't know what's going on right here. I don't know if this is a factory error or what, but are you guys seeing what I'm seeing right here? Are you seeing that the boots and the socks are the exact same? Like, look, she has laces on her socks, and this is her boots here. So the boots on the feet, you can tell that this is a boot mold, but on the, you know, where she would have actual boots, it's socks. So she has laces over the socks, and when you turn to articulate, it, artic it articulates at the calf, which is kind of weird. You would think that the stripes would be on the calf right here, and then this would be the boot cut, but it's the full thing that turns, and then she doesn't have boots. She just has socks that are boots, which is very weird. I don't know. I think that's just a mistake on, on the factory. I, I'm not exactly sure how that, how that happened, but that is very odd to me. She also does have ankle pivot, which is beautiful to see. I wish all women's figures had the ankle pivot and the toe pivot, and this does have great articulation, but I just think that's very weird. Is that not odd that she doesn't really have boots? She just has socks that have laces over it, and it's very odd. That's definitely an error, and I, I don't really know. I mean, it's not the biggest deal in the world, but it is something to mention for sure. And by the way, I did go ahead and remove the jacket. If you guys have not noticed at this moment, we have removed the jacket now, and we are not looking at the jacket version, so I did take that off, but you guys kind of saw the articulation of the jacket mold in the last portion of the video. But now that we've covered Becky Lynch, guys, let's get into some Becky Lynch Elite Figure comparisons. So for your Becky Lynch Elite Figure comparisons, guys, I figured that the best comparison would be the Elite 72 Becky Lynch, which is one of my favorite female figures to ever release. As you guys can see here, we are going to get a shot at the head sculpts because I think the Elite 72 has a much stronger head sculpt and a much better likeness to Becky Lynch, and you guys can tell me what you think down in the comment section below, but I think I can feel a head swap coming because I really do like this a lot. I might even go as far as to switch the lower legs of these guys and the head sculpts on the 
these guys and uh, see what we can get going. I don't know. We'll, we'll just have to play with that on surgery, but I am also sure that you can put this man jacket on this figure if you wanted to. I don't know why you would want to do that, but I'm pretty sure you can do that. But yeah, I am just loving the Elite 72 head sculpt much more, and I don't know. I might like the Elite 72 as a figure more, which is kind of crazy, but I do like the Kill Bill attire a whole lot, but I had to do this comparison to see the difference in the head sculpts in the attire in the man right here with Becky two belts. But that pretty much does it for our Elite Figure comparisons of Becky Lynch. So getting into John Cena's accessories, guys, coming with him, you do get quite a lot. You get a cloth t-shirt, which is his orange hustle loyalty respect shirt, which he did wear in late 2007 and then on into 2008. Very nice shirt. I always liked this shirt. Thought it was always badassery. Not only with the shirt, you do get his matching hat. And one thing I will say about the hat, I feel like this orange is not coming across as uh, as bright as it actually is in person. In On camera, it's kind of looking like it matches a little bit better. It kind of looks more accurate. But in person, it gives off more of like a camo orange. If you guys know, it's like a highlighter kind of orange. And it doesn't look as accurate as it actually was, which we will get into. Another thing I noticed is that the Chain Gang logo is missing from the back of the hat. And this is actually a new hat mold. This is a new hat mold. We may have seen this with the Elite 76, but I know it's different than his older hat molds. And uh, it, it's slightly larger. This this hat is slightly deeper and larger, and I think it'll give for a better fit on the figure. But same logo as the hat, orange face. And we'll see what he looks like in full decked out gear at the end of the video. In another segment, we will put all the accessories on him so you guys can see what it looks like. But he also comes with the Spinner WWE Championship, even though, you know, he wasn't champion during this time, or at least when he returned in this attire. But it's still nice to have for a WWE Championship for John Cena. He comes with interchangeable salute hands. He also comes with interchangeable you can't see me hands, which are a must. And then out of the packaging, he does come with mic holding hands, which are always beautiful. And then, I don't know if you want to count this as an accessory, but they've finally switched up the armbands, where if you take off the hand, you can actually remove this, and you have his double wristbands right there, which I think is so sick. So if you want to count that as an accessory, I guess you can, but they match the t-shirt, they match the hat, and I always thought that was pretty sick that they finally did this. They got the sculpted material on there, which we'll take a closer look at when we get to the next segment of the video, but outside of the armbands as well, he also comes with three interchangeable head sculpts and his dog tags, if you guys want to look at the dog tags. We get we get this with every John Cena ever, but three interchangeable head sculpts. Here is the first one, and this is the one that I do not like. I think it's got like a real Forrest Gump-like style going on. I feel like the head may be too long. I think that the, like, just look at it from the side. I think you guys can see what I'm saying. I think the head just is too long. Like, compare it to his other figures. Uh, I don't know. It's like that bottom roundness that it's got, like this extra skin down here. Uh, this head sculpt is the basic 100 head sculpt. This looks much more like John Cena. I'm just getting like a real goofy vibe out of this one. I don't know. You guys can let me know what you think below, but I think he definitely has like a long head. It's like some Forrest Gump going on. But then we also have the screaming head sculpt, which I think is awesome. I think it does look like John Cena. The only gripe I have is it kind of looks like he might be a little cross-eyed. I may be, I may be tripping ball sack, but I'm pretty sure he may be a little cross-eyed. It may not be that bad. You guys can let me know down in the comment section below. But I do like that we finally have a screaming John Cena head, and I do want to do a quick comparison shot with the Jack screaming John Cena head, so we can get a kind of, you know, comparison shot of those two. So as you guys can see, the difference between the two, I think it's pretty good. You know, this Jack's figure came out over 10 years ago, and I think it did pretty damn well. Honestly, I think the eye spacing on the Jack's may be a little bit better, but that's pretty cool right there to get a little, you know, a little blast from the past. And also, before we change over, guys, if you guys wanted to see what this head sculpt looked like on the figure real quick, here is a little comparison shot of the screaming head sculpt on the Ultimate Edition John Cena, and I like that. It may sit a little low, but I'm liking the way that looks. That's pretty solid footballs right there. But now that we've taken a closer look at John Cena, guys, let's take a... Actually, no. Now that we've taken a closer look at John Cena's accessories, let's take a closer look at John Cena himself. All right, guys, so getting into John Cena, as you guys can see, we've seen the basic 100 head sculpt before. I think it looks uncanny to John Cena. I think it looks great. And I think this head sculpt does have likeness to John Cena. I just don't like it. He just kind of looks like a goofball. I don't know how to describe it, but here's the torso mold that we've seen before. It's the same diaphragm stuff. If you guys want to see how far it crunches forward, that's about all you get there and that's about how you get when it goes back. He does have double jointed arms, which are just so beautiful, man. I just kind of wish that every figure ever would have these, but he can do all the good poses that you need him to do as far as the double jointed arms are concerned. Again, uh, his sweat bands are actually sculpted now. They are no longer painted on. They do have paint detail on them, but they are no longer painted on. And you guys can see that it does have the little ripples there. I actually have a John Cena 
armband from where I caught it when he threw it in the crowd and this is exactly what it looks like zoomed in on it. It's got all the good details and the fuzz going on with them. On the bicep band as well you got those dog eyes on there. This is also removable if you guys were wondering. On the waist it does have his chain game respect undies going on or sliding shorts or, or under whatever the hell you want to call that. There's a little Nike Pro Combat style going on under there. Keep everything held down. You got his nice jort mold right there which looks pretty good. All this is the same as his older elites except when we get to the feet which we will get into. And another thing that is bummerific it is on the pine cone joints which is kind of unfortunate. I kind of wish that they would have given us some new tooling and giving us you know some uh, ball joints but uh, you know it's not nearly as stiff. It actually has some, some range of motion here so you don't have to worry about it being so stiff. It's definitely better articulation than it was back in the day. But I think the big hard hitting question is that people were wondering what would go on down here. So you don't get any calf rotation. I was really hoping for some calf rotation. We do not get calf rotation. However, on the foot, it is a brand new shoe mold right here. And this does articulate. You get toe pivot here and he does have ankle pivot. And I think a lot of people are going to be wondering, can he actually stand up without falling? Unfortunately, he still does have like a forward lean. You guys can see there when I let him go, he does have a forward lean. It is definitely stronger than a regular elite John Cena with the long jorts mold. So his ankles are stronger than they used to be. They're not as strong as I probably would like, like with the Brock Lesnar, but I still think they, they work okay. They're definitely better, and it's an upgrade for sure. You got the white outsoles, which is super duper clean, and that is just sick, man. I, I am happy with overall with this John Cena, this Ultimate Edition John Cena. You guys know I'm the biggest John Cena figure collector that is out there, and uh, this is uh, this is monumental for me, man. I, I really enjoy this figure, and I'm a John Cena figure enthusiast, so if I'm happy with it, then you should definitely be happy with it. Is it perfect to a T? No, ma'am, but I still think it's really damn fire. But anyways, guys, that does it for John Cena's figure, so let's dive into some John Cena Elite Figure Comparisons. And for your John Cena Elite Figure Comparisons, guys, here is my custom Royal Rumble Return 2008 John Cena on the left compared to the Ultimate Edition in the center. And then we have the WrestleMania 34, WrestleMania 23 John Cena on the right, which is from a similar era to John Cena. And uh, I am I am liking this, man. As you guys can see, here's the difference between the custom and the actual figure. And I think uh, Showstopper Custom Figs did make my hat. These are actually Mattel arms because we've gotten a basic with those arms before. So I think that the arms color is pretty much the same that they use for the re-release or the Ultimate Edition. And then uh, the t-shirt here, I think this color may be a little bit accurate. Their graphic is definitely much cleaner. And I think Showstopper Custom Figs actually nailed the hat color better in my personal opinion. This is just more of a highlighter orange. It's not coming across on camera as much. But here's the difference in, in everything like that. I think it's pretty much to a T. You guys can kind of see what I'm saying about the shorts mold. Pretty much the exact same. No calf rotation again. And here's the difference between the shoes. And everybody knows the issues that are with these longer shorts mold John Cena's. I think the base of this figure is the Elite 7 John Cena, and uh, this is pretty much a brand new figure. Like, I haven't posted around, so that's why it probably stands up a lot better than a you know a regular John Cena would, uh, much like this one right here. Both of these haven't been posted around a lot, but a lot of them have that forward lean, as you guys know, and a lot of them take shelf dives. Like, my John Cena's take more shelf dives than anybody because of this shorts mold and because of those ankles being super loose and weak, and I did go ahead and dress up the John Cena in the full gear so you guys could see exactly what you're getting yourselves into with it all dressed up and I also wanted to take a look at what each head sculpt looked like with the hat on it so you guys can kind of see how the hat fits each head sculpt so if you guys are wondering about that and you want to you know do that before you make a purchase on it so there is that one and then we have the goofy head sculpt and I do want to see what this looks like on here this head sculpt definitely looks better with the hat on it but Jesus Christ man I just I'm not a fan of that head sculpt right there and then lastly we have my favorite head sculpt which I think is the screaming head sculpt sculpt and we are going to put the hat on here and see what this looks like. Yeah, man, that's badassery. Look at that. Oh, bro, that's sick as hell. I know you got shadows going on, but I, I dig that a lot. But that pretty much does it for your John Cena Elite Figure comparisons on the brand new Ultimate Edition. Matt Hardy, yes, wonderful edition, Ultimate Edition John Cena. That pretty much does it for your Ultimate Edition comparisons. And before we get out of here, I do want to do a quick little shot of the Ultimate Edition Brock Lesnar up next to the Ultimate Edition John Cena. If you guys were wondering the size comparison right there. And then another one that I want to do is the Ultimate Edition Ronda Football Rousey up next to the Ultimate Becky Football Lynch. And as we compare the two here, you guys can see Becky Lynch is definitely shorter than the Ronda Rousey. And there is your height difference right there. So this Ronda Rousey still stands superior and could still beat her ass every single day, boy. 
But anyways, guys, that about does it for the 2-in-1 Ultimate Edition Becky Lynch and John Cena figure review. I had a ton of fun reviewing these guys. I hope you guys enjoyed the review as well. If you guys would like to pick up any of the figures you see in today's video, definitely go over to Ringside Collectibles. Use the promo code MDTOYS to save yourselves 10%. Huge shout out to them for making this wrestling figure review possible. Definitely go over to WrestlingFigures.com and use promo code MDTOYS to save yourself some football money. Overall, I think both figures are damn nice. I actually really do enjoy them. I think the posability is great. Uh, I think that if you have the Elite 72 Becky Lynch, you're probably going to be satisfied with that one. I don't think it's necessarily a must-have to go out of your way to get the Ultimate Edition Becky Lynch, but if you're a John Cena fan, if you have any John Cena, I would gladly replace all of your John Cenas with the Ultimate Edition because it is that damn good. I really do enjoy it. I think it's great. I've been waiting on a great figure like this for a long time of John Cena, and I'm finally happy to have it. If I see it at retail, I will definitely be grabbing it. I love all the interchangeable heads. I can make some cool fix-ups, and we're probably going to get some surgery in here on some of these guys, and probably Becky Lynch for sure. But that is going to do it for this video, guys. Thank you so very much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed the review. Follow me on Instagram and Twitter, guys. We need some Twitter following. Get on Twitter and make an account and follow me so you can be up to date on all the things I talk about. I talk about stuff on the channel. I talk about uh, current wrestling. If you want to watch along with me on Monday Night Raw and SmackDown and talk about everything that's happening, definitely get on Twitter. Make yourself a Twitter. Follow me over there at My Damn Toys. Subscribe to the channel for more epic WWE action figure videos and I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you.